assassin finds himself sent to prison. Six years. I didn't do anything. He goes to prison when all of the sentences are being expanded out and made indeterminate. The prison they are sent to, it's this factory. Welcome to Narkina 5. You're mine now. We have these incredible sets, and this factory set was one of the biggest indoor sets I've ever seen. Off program! Back to work! I had a really clear idea on what this prison should be. A little bit like a lab, and a little bit like an asylum. It's just another day, another shift. The notion was to kind of encapsulate them in a windowless environment until they cross from their cells to where they work on the factory floor. And then suddenly that's when you realize how sinister this is. The white lights start flashing, you've got seven seconds to get to your cell. We didn't want to bring in too many colors, which is why the lights are quite sort of white and ivory and sickly, this sort of hospital vibe. The work behind this world is very meticulous. The engineering of the factory, the way that those props actually had to work, those desks were actually operational. Having to learn to use all of this machinery and the way that they've worked together, there are so many moving parts, you know, and they have to work totally in sync, and they really do. Let's go, let's go! Tony set up this prison to be impenetrable, like it would be impossible to escape it. All you need to do is make a wrong move and somebody hits a button and fries you. It's so easy to die in this place that nobody steps out of line. I'd rather die trying to take them down than die giving them what they want. It's just a great set to play in. And Cassian realizes that it's just a perfect place for a revolution. This is the first moment where he understands that he's capable of actually being part of something bigger. We're leaving you at the end of 10. They've made it out and you don't know what happens. This moment in the story shows you how far he's willing to go to survive. And nothing's gonna stop him.